One altcoin is now seeing a lot of new whale attention after new development. Helium pumps ahead of a big call this week, and crypto whales have become the largest donors in the election so far. What could this mean? This is your altcoin buzz news. Hey, what's up, everyone? My name is Cody, and if you're new here, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you know when to drop the latest content. Follow us on Twitter, altcoinbuzz.io, and as always, this is not financial advice. I wish you the best of luck in your crypto ventures. Bitcoin will soon enter what one analyst is calling batshit season, which could see the price of Bitcoin surge as high as $150,000 by the end of 2024. In an August 26th X post, Real Vision analyst Jamie Coots said that unless something has fundamentally changed, Bitcoin price action is still on track to enter batshit season, also known as the banana zone, a term coined by Real Vision founder Raul Paul. Coots noted that in the previous two bull cycles, Bitcoin had notched new respective all-time highs in the 365 days following local US dollar index peaks. He suggested that if Bitcoin price follows previous bull market patterns, it could surge more than 100% from a price of $64,000 to reach as high as $150,000 by the end of 2024. And so far this election cycle, crypto has become a huge benefactor, with CNBC saying this. So nearly half of all the corporate money being pumped into this year's election is coming from the crypto industry, according to a new report from the nonprofit watchdog group Public Citizen. Now, the sector, which has been under high scrutiny by the Biden administration, is outspending big oil and banks this cycle with Coke Industries in a distant second place in terms of corporate contributions. Heavyweights like Coinbase, Ripple and VC firm Andreessen Horowitz, which has a sizable crypto book, have collectively given more than $146 million with the goal of trying to get candidates who are friendly to the industry into office. Now, most of that corporate money being raised is going to the popular and bipartisan pro-crypto super PAC called Fairshake, which is one of the top spending PACs this year. I spoke to their team last night to get the latest numbers on the four largest donors to Fairshake and its associated PACs. Coinbase has contributed $49 million. A16Z and Ripple have both given $47 million each. And Jump Crypto put in $15 million. Now, as for where all that money is going, a filing with the Federal Election Commission this week showed that in July, Fairshake dispersed almost $75 million and still has nearly $120 million left to deploy, with 73 days to go until the November election. The Super PAC has pledged $25 million from that pool of cash to 18 House candidates in the general election to be split among nine Democrats and nine Republicans. It's committed another $18 million to three Senate races, Joe. Decentralized social is an area where the market has been waiting for a great solution to present itself, and one of the firms vying for the lead in Web3 Social is Republic. Republic is working to bring social media to Web3. The key thing is to give creators control over how they monetize their content. Creators get the best tools around for monetization, and Republic uses some great tools like AI to help users get the content they want in their feeds. This AI element to help the algorithm work better for you is something new. And if you've been on crypto Twitter lately, you know there's a lot of complaints about how the algorithm is getting out of hand. With Republic, it's only the stuff you want. Some of the great tools Republic uses for its creators include a subscribe feature to give you access to more private content from your favorite creators, direct tipping, and even a pay to chat directly feature. As a creator, you can more easily cultivate fans. And as a fan, you can invest in the success of your favorite creators. It's like finding the next Joe Rogan and getting a piece of his podcast before it becomes a global phenomenon. Each creator has a token that you can buy, sell, or trade, and that helps you invest in the creator's success. Other great tools Republic offers include social logins. It seems simple, but one of the biggest differences between Web 2 and Web 3 platforms is how you get started and onboarding to try the platform. The platform's currency is the native RPK token, and this is what you pay and what you earn, whether you're a creator or regular user of the platform. So check out Republic with a link down below. Ave Labs is updating the Ghost Ability module, or GSM, to integrate BlackRock's tokenized fund, Biddle, into the system. Biddle, representing traditional assets like cash and US Treasury bonds, aims to secure the one-to-one -one convertibility of Ave stablecoin Go. The integration will allow users to manage their assets more effectively. BlackRock's Biddle fund represents assets equivalent to the US dollar and aims to enhance GSM's capital efficiency. Users will be able to perform fixed rate swaps between USDC and Go, and unused USDC will be used to mint Biddle shares. Additionally, users can earn monthly dividends, while swap fees will accumulate in Go stablecoins. The integration will enable the Aave DAO to access broader yield sources with real assets and could open the door for future partnership opportunities with BlackRock. This collaboration with BlackRock, the world's largest financial institution, 
could enhance Aave's growth potential. And Aave has recently caught the attention of whales as the token's price has jumped by over 30% in the past week. Most recently, on August 22nd, look on chain data revealed that a whale scooped up roughly $10.4 million worth of Aave for 4,000 staked Ethereum in less than 24 hours. There are hundreds, if not thousands, of different crypto wallets. Most blockchains have their own wallet, and in general, most wallets only work with their native chain. However, there's one wallet that's way different. It takes multi-chain to a different level, and that's the control wallet, formerly known as the XDeFi wallet. Control supports millions of assets and NFTs on 1,800 plus blockchains, and that's more blockchains than anyone could ever need, but hey, why not have them all? Control wallets got all the big names covered, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Avalanche, all those EVM compatible layer twos, Cosmos Chain, and even Solana. It's basically like having a VIP pass to the entire crypto universe. Remember the days when handling multiple assets meant juggling a gazillion wallets? It was a nightmare, but those days are over. With Control Wallet, you can manage all your tokens and NFTs in one place. It's like the Swiss Army knife of wallets. And get this, Control Wallet even has social login features. Want to use your Google account to log in? No problem. It's quick, easy, and just a little bit fancy. And of course, they've got all the proper security measures in place, so you still get your trusty passphrase. And now let's talk about a game changer, and that's universal gas fees. You can load up with USDC or the XDFi token, and voila, you're paying gas fees across any of these different chains from one universal gas tank. It's like having a magical wallet that pays your way, no matter where you go. So whether you're a crypto veteran or just dipping your toes into the blockchain waters, Control Wallet's got you covered. They're also in the process of rolling out their mobile wallet, which looks super slick, and you can even beta test it right now. Make sure to check it out and take control of your crypto journey with Control Wallet, linked down below. HNT, the native token of the Helium network, is leading the surge among top 100 cryptocurrencies today, outperforming other altcoins that are mostly in decline. On August 27th, the price of Helium soared 14% to $7.17, while the crypto assets market cap surpassed $1.6 billion. The latest jump in HNT's price comes as a community call is set for August 28th, to provide updates and debates on the Helium network. The monthly event brings together developers, hotspot owners, and community members to discuss protocol governance and other Helium ecosystem-related concerns. Recent talks in the crypto space have focused on Helium's potential to transform wireless infrastructure. Traditionally, large carriers had to build more cell towers to increase coverage, which required a significant capital expenditure. Helium, on the other hand, provides a novel technique for increasing wireless coverage through a decentralized network of mobile nodes. The network is apparently in contact with two big US carriers, were testing offloading their traffic to the mobile network. Carrier 1 has around 185,000 customers, and Carrier 2 has over 122,000 users taking part in the trial. If effective, the carriers might save money and provide greater coverage, while Helium would gain from increased traffic and funds flowing to hotspot providers. According to its stats page, Helium Mobile has around 20,000 active hotspots, while its IoT solution has 360,000 locations, and the figures are growing. 